Hey guys, Bitter Steel here, back with another video, and today we've got a spicy disaster, so let's hop right in. This one was sent in by Gary, and, well, Gary writes a lot. It's it's a lot of context to take in, so I'll just put it on screen now, so you can read it for yourself, but suffice to say, things went not according to plan. Did, did you read it? Did you? Alright, let's hop right in. Iron Man mode is on, and historical AI focuses are off, so you know this is going to be a disaster. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, Ace Defender. Ace Defender is a high-quality SRPG combining turn-based RPG battle with tower defense elements. Interesting. The game has well over 40 chapters, totaling nearly 2,000 levels and allows you to level up, equip and combine more than 48 heroes with their own backstories. Plus, they add two more heroes every two weeks. Now, the game features a PvP expedition mode where you explore dungeons and regions, engage in trials, level up your heroes and of course collect fat loot. Or if you fancy a bit of PvP, you can fight against other players within your server or cross-server in various arenas. And for those of us with a little time on our hands, the game can be run at 2x or 4x speed in addition to regular speed. Now, Ace Defender is also introducing a new hero, Brenda the Demon Spear. I'll name that, Brenda. She has the ability to deal massive damage while reducing that of the enemy. Not only that, but Ace Defender is introducing a brand new world, Realm of Deities. A mysterious new world where you can build your castle, develop technologies and train soldiers to conquer the city for endless treasures. I like treasure. Now on the Realm of Deities map, you can defeat all kinds of monsters, get rewards, fight together with your allies, gain more power for your heroes through the magical research. New users who download the game from the link in the description below will get 10 Royal Recruit tickets after completing Chapter 2, Level 8. And you can use the tickets by clicking Sky City, then onto the tavern and recruit 10x. Now, back to the video. I like how he calls this a Byzantine revival, yet it's 1942 and we don't even have half of Turkey under our boot. Okay, so first order of business will be to pull the Turkish troops back. This is cut off. We will never be able to supply this army by sea. So who are we at war with here? The Central Powers, which is bad. Also with the Confederate European Nations, which adds to the badness. And we are the Commonwealth of Nations, who are our allies. Canada and, and South Africa, that's... That's it. First order of business, we need to bring the Anatolian troops back home. They are cut off. The Royal Navy will completely destroy our supply lines. We cannot take out Turkey from this position. At least, I, I don't think we can. And even if we could push all the way here, it would just give us a very wide border with Germany then, where we would just get pushed and pushed hard. No, we need to get these guys home. Mostly because we also need to defend our home. We are being overrun. Hurrah. I'm going to reorganize the military a bit. I am going to roll everything into a single army, I think. So everyone's stuck on this side of the continent. Let's just all put them in the same army. 23 divisions. Okay, I'm going to try and pull them out. And I'm going to do so carefully. I'll set a small fallback line around the port of Izmir. And allow all of these troops, or as many of these troops as possible, heal back there. Hopefully, we can get as many divisions out as possible. If it looks like there's divisions here that I will not be able to get out. I'm going to manually extract them or just delete them. Do we have an air force? We might as well not have an air force. Okay, you guys go home and I'm going to turn off your orders for now. This is pointless. Okay, Navy also goes home. Submarines, maybe do some convoy raiding. I don't know, where are they? Why are your submarines here? Okay, I'm bringing the submarines home then, I guess. And up north here, not much else we can do but try and hold here. Worst case scenario, I could pull back one tile and cover these three. And of course, guard the port. Knowing the UK, we will get flooded by naval invasions. All right, what are our templates like? Uh, 20 with infantry. This is not bad. I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, I prefer to roll with one of these bad boys lately. 21 combat with. Or because most of it is mountains, we could even go up to 25 combat with. But that's only good for the mountains. If you're feeling especially fancy, we could roll with 27 combat with. For that big old bang for your buck division but we, we cannot. I don't think we can afford this considering we have 18 military factories. And then you've got field hospitals, recon. Okay, that's okay. I, I don't know about the field hospitals, but I'll leave them in for now considering how little manpower Greece has without forming Byzantium. Motorized. I, I like this division. Pretty decent. But I don't think we have the industry to support it. Can you semi-motorized? Okay, let me, let me tell you, there is no such thing as semi-motorized. A division is as fast as the slowest unit in it. Once 
you put infantry in any kind of motorized division, it becomes so slow that it's just an infantry division. It is no longer motorized. Every truck here is a wasted truck. This many anti-air, not that great. Just stick with a one or just stick with support anti-air. There are some meme cases where a lot of anti-air in division will work. This is not one of those. So we're not going to be using this division. And armored, yeah, this is not an armored division. Let's change everything over to the basic infantry. I do have a bit of artillery, so I'm going to go with that 21 comma with division. That should save us some equipment and some manpower. I'm also going to add anti-air, support anti-air. And this is going to be what we roll with for now. What are we making? Trains? Yeah, okay, we'll keep making trains because I know for a fact we will get logistics bombing out the wazoo when we fight Germany and the UK. Infantry equipment, okay. Crew artillery need a little bit more. Don't need that many trucks. Let's stick to two, maybe even three. No motorized rocket artillery. No naval bombers. Sorry, we just don't have the factories. And then fighters and CAS. I love CAS and I love fighters but we don't have a significant economy to produce them. So I am a little torn. I could just delete one of these and produce either fighters or cast. I'm thinking produce just fighters to offset the enemy bombarding us or just try and slowly build up a bit of an air force and then use them all at later down the road in a big old final push. I don't know. I'll keep these production lines going for now. I'll take a little bit out of infantry equipment. Since we do have a significant stockpile, let's also make some more divisions. One thing we need to change this division, duplicate it, and I'm going to make coast guards. Coast guards don't need to be this thick, cheap old coast guards, and I'm going to make them 15 combat with. I could even make them 10, be even cheaper, but they'd not have a lot of organization and HP. I, I need them to have a little bit of that. Produce some coast guards, and I want at least two, or maybe even three. You know what? I'm just going to make a lot of them. A full army of coastal divisions. Now you're wondering, why make that many units because i know i know for a fact that the ai will throw naval invasion after naval invasion after naval invasion at us i can bottle up the north but i need to guard all these ports now who will command the defense uh unyielding defender offensive doctrine mountaineer he's not terrible and the other guy is hill fighter charismatic and i can give him defensive doctrine ah i want to run this field marshal because i can give him defensive doctrine more entrenchment which will help but the other field marshal has a lot more logistics, which will help with supply. Plus, he has a mountaineer, which will help overall, considering Greece's territory. Ah, let's just stick with that guy. Move everyone under that field marshal. Let's build a couple of regular divisions as well. Next up, doctrines. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've got mobile warfare. Okay, mobile warfare is not bad if you're building a tank based army as Greece, especially in 1942 without even taking Turkey, you're not gonna build a tank based army. You have no industry. So no, no, don't go mobile warfare, please. This is just wasted. Yes, your troops get a couple of buffs down the line here, but it's not good at all. I could just hold on and get desperate defense for more manpower. And the guerrilla tactics down here are not bad, but oh, it's just, it sucks so much. Oh, just either go superior firepower. This makes your divisions a lot better. It, it, this is where the good stats are. The grand battle plan is also not terrible if you're trying to hold the line and just use battle planning to advance every little bit. Even go mass assault. This is this is, this is is your cheap ass doctrine. This is the actually not a terrible doctrine. Go mass mobilization for more manpower or go deep battle for supply consumption. Just don't go mobile warfare with infantry. So what I'm gonna do is hold on to as much army experience as I can until like 400 army XP and just switch over to superior firepower or maybe even one of the other ones but i am not sticking with mobile warfare air doctrine battlefield support okay i like i prefer strategic destruction mostly because this one more agility on your fighters motorization drive interesting but we will not be going with motorized let's just big professional army corps get more army xp so we can get up there quicker political loyalty this will give us a lot more alt stability which is gonna help yeah let's just get static warfare and just start building up army xp so I'll get trade interdiction that allows me to get convoy warfare here and submarine primacy. Cheaper subs to design at least and easier to research them. I am going for subs. Yes. And for air, I never really know which one of these is best. I just usually pick air crew survey and centralized control. I think I'm going to switch this one over to strategic destruction. Uh, mostly because I am not going to
going to be using my Air Force for quite a while. All right, that brings us to the political screen. Yoon construction repair. I'll check out your focus tree. Oh, yeah, most of the stuff is done. Yeah, construction repair it is. Or construction engineering. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you're going to need construction engineering. You're building a supply hub here because there is no supply up there. Yeah, let's just go with construction engineering. Service by requirement. This is uh, whew, painful, but you're going to need it. Greece has barely any manpower. Total mobilization. It's a little more expensive, I know. And follow that up with women in the workforce. Boom. Your economy is suddenly a little less trash. Kind of want to get more of this. You want to upgrade your anti-air. You want to upgrade your artillery. You want to keep up to date with these. Ignore armor. Uh, support companies. I think I want maintenance companies. Our industry is shit and I can conserve manpower by defending and attacking carefully. So I, I think I want to switch out my field hospitals down the line for maintenance companies. And of course, we'll need better infantry equipment. But what I really want to do, and I know this is going to be a giant meme and it's more something for the future. I want better subs. I want sub threes and make the best sub threes I can and use them to completely disrupt enemy shipping around my island. Recon company, fine. Infantry anti-tank, fine. Excavation. This is going to be something I will take later. First, we need to focus on the army. Better AA. We are going to get destroyed by cast considering how big our enemies are and Germany and the UK go big on air planes. I'm going to trade with Romania for some oil. Fortunately, they are still neutral. For our spies, you got a spy network going in Turkey, but it's not going to work for us. We will first be focusing on Bulgaria. They are at least within reach. So I'll build a spy network on Bulgaria and prepare collaboration governments to take out Bulgaria first. Now construction. I skimmed over this earlier. You're building the supply hub, which is great. I'm going to hook up a railway into this from the port here just to make sure that most of our supply can flow across railways and I don't need to rely on um, stupid little convoys that will get sunk. Upgrade this railway, um, build more railways here, and follow that up with military factories. And once that's built, infrastructure to increase our resources. The hardest part is going to be getting this army out. No, I am going to lose these guys. Uh, I'm going to delete these units. Let's just get everyone out there. Just get everyone out. And we may be getting ourselves intercepted, so the surface fleet, or whatever's left of the surface fleet, just going to set them out on convoy escort. Alright, I'm slowly getting my troops out. Out, but uh ooh, convoy rating is pretty bad up north we're holding i need to hold here until i can counterattack and retake thessaloniki that's going to be a lot of factories and manpower and from thessaloniki we maybe have an opportunity to push into bulgaria because if i'm looking at this right bulgaria is cut off from the rest of the axis maybe i can take them on and if i have control of that territory i can uh, look at taking out the turks all right we've got infantry anti-tank uh, i'm gonna set this one on maintenance companies no 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 I'm going to set this one on snorkels, get the best subs out as I can. And then after recon's done, I'm going to work on maintenance companies so I can replace the field hospitals. After that, all my research is just going to be focused on improving my subs, improving my industry wherever I can, and just keeping my artillery, infantry equipment, and support companies up to date. I'm not constantly going to remind you what I'm researching unless there's something special in there. It's going to be pricey, but I think we'll get most of our divisions out, even if we take massive, massive casualties. Uh, ooh, I'm low on support equipment, though. So maybe I can get some lend lease going. Yugoslavia, will you help me out? Oh, you will. Oh, we're getting pushed up north here. I need another last stand and then I can get this secondary army up there. I can hold until September 26th. Maybe I can get supply up north. If they ever stop attacking me and I see them at low org, I might have an opportunity to like quickly push through towards Thessaloniki. There's not that many divisions here. It's just that we have no supply and that is what really hurts us here. One thing I forgot. The United States is also fighting Germany. How about I try and join their faction? To do that, I need to get rid of Canada. Bye, Canada. You were very useless. Same for South Africa. Bye-bye. And I'm going to get rid of my faction because it's really useless. And now, the United States will you- No. Oh, they won't let us in? Oh, that sucks. Ah, yikes. That's a lot of divisions there. I was not expecting that many divisions. And we've been immediately reinforced memed. Back out of the province. Oh, I hate it. I need to make sure that every tile next to a port is also covered. Naval invasions are a lot more dangerous than they used to be. You kind of want to guard your port and the divisions, uh, the tiles next to it. I've created a artificial deficit here by designing a new division. What I'll be using in future if I ever get the manpower and industry going. My hoplites, big ol' artillery boys, spam 
spam them uh, in my queue and let's ask Romania. Stop improving relations. We're fine. Ask them for some lend lease. Will you send me equipment? Yes. Artillery? Yes. Airplanes? No. And we'll do the same with guys. Let's see if you have artillery for me to add. Yes. So that will help. Thousand artillery. Yep. I need to wait for a window to take Thessaloniki, but there's just too many divisions here right now. South Africa pulled in the Japanese. Well, Chinese. And now there's a war going on. Good. We have a game. We can actually make something happen now. The Asian League will go to war with the Central Powers. More and more troops seem to be arriving here, which kind of sucks. Japan or China wants us in. Thank you. We're now in a faction. We are no longer struggling on our own. Oh, there we are. The dreaded naval invasions are happening. Fortunately, we do have some Coast Guards. I think we'll be able to hold. I'm even low on supply in my own territory just because of the enemy logistical bombing. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I don't know if it actually helps against logistical bombing, but I know it's going to help against the incessant strat bombing. I am going to build up AA. I never do this. I never build static AA, but look at this. It's just shredding my railways. Without my railways, my troops will not get supplied. I need to do something to stop this. I don't have the Air Force to even defend my own lands. Need to try anything at this point. Oh, Spanish Empire is in. That either goes really well for Spain or is going to go really poorly. And I have my money on really poorly because Spain is not ready for this. Not ready at all all. Oh god, they're still recovering from the Civil War. I will be cutting a lot of stuff out unless it's interesting like big offensives happening by the AI or hopefully big offensives happening by me. But most of this gameplay is going to be me sitting here defending what's left of my country, fighting tooth and nail for that while trying desperately to build up a submarine navy to shield ourselves and some sort of land force that is capable of attacking Bulgaria. Until I'm done with either of those, yeah, you're just gonna be watching this. Me shuffling around units to stop red bubbles. Yeah, I did one force attack and boy, am I regretting it. Uh, this is, this has not gone well for me. I'm two tiles away from my fully upgraded supply hub. I have zero supply. There's two understrength divisions here and there's two divisions that are weakened on the port and I cannot push. Ah, uh, make something happen. Just do anything. I can't just sit here and let my country be overrun. Okay, 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 okay. If I can push through through this tile, I can cut off Thessaloniki and if I can cut off Thessaloniki we have an opportunity oh no oh no no it didn't work I, I thought I could take Thessaloniki just look at how weak these divisions are and I cannot push because of supply I've got a couple of divisions that still have org and equipment I'm gonna try one more forced attack I hate using it. I absolutely hate using it it sucks up all of our equipment I'm suffering I'm bleeding troops and equipment here but I need Thessaloniki without Thessaloniki Nothing can happen. We need it. We are desperate. Why did Romania even... Why even? Doesn't make any sense either. Oh, we pushed! We pushed! Okay, 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 okay. Maybe, 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 maybe something can happen now. I need, I need to think, I need to think. Uh, rush those divisions in there. Yeah, oh, they're already coming back. They're already coming back. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I got this a lot of key. They're counterattacking, but I can hold. I can hold. Stop the offensive. Stop the offensive. Only attack here. I need that tile. That is three sieves, uh, two synthetics, two mills, bunch of manpower, a lot of manpower. Okay, now dig in. This is big. We're already getting hit by relentless counterattacks. I could issue my own last stance, but it's going to get incredibly expensive. I am out of artillery, infantry equipment, support equipment. Okay, uh, this is not going to hold. Let's just fall back to these two tiles. I don't want to, but I think it's my only chance at this point. And I'm gonna swap out the field hospitals for maintenance companies. No, 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 they're just pushing right through. Just another last stand. I hate these. I have little other options though. What the fuck? 200% soft attack. How am I supposed to stop this? You know, I don't think I can actually salvage this run. I've been here for a year now and we've not really done much. 20 minutes later. Oh, there goes Spain, but at least Spain managed to... I was going to say Spain managed to secure North Africa, but no, no. Their entire army has uh, seemingly vanished and the AI is not really good at picking up the pieces. Subs are starting to get some damage in, but uh, I, I don't have enough of the really good ones yet. Yugoslavia... Oh, no, 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 no. Why Yugoslavia? Okay, Yugoslavia joined our 
our faction. Now you think that's good. More friends, more help. They're close by. Great. Yeah, no. They've got a massive border and they don't have the massive army to defend that border. And I'm quite afraid that they'll join the war and get overrun. And if they do, my border has to be even longer. Oh. I'm also going to research armored trains. I know, controversial. They're expensive. But they're really constantly bombing my trains. And armored trains don't get blown up as easily. And I need that edge. Also, the AI is just weird. I don't know what they're doing over here. I've been building railroads for them just to plug into various supply hubs and it hasn't really helped them that much. And our submarines are actually starting to do the Lord's work now. Most of these are now level three. All of the older ones have been sunk. We're starting to sink earlier destroyers and light cruisers and it will only be a matter of time before we secure a couple of sea zones around us and that should give us a little bit of room to breathe in terms of naval invasions. I'm going to switch out static warfare for either smoke and fire or flexible organization. Smoke and fire is pretty good. The breakthrough is nice. I'm confused here. Yugoslavia joined the German Imperial Spanish War, but they're just fighting the UK. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. They got a border with Romania. I just redeployed my Romanian core. Uh, okay. Clean up this naval invasion. Send these guys back up to that Romanian border. Maybe I can save them. If I can knock out Romania attacking from Yugoslavia's territory, this will all go to Yugoslavia, which is not great, but it will mean Yugoslavia is still not in a war with Germany. That I can take out Bulgaria safely if it ever comes to that. Hold, girdle, hold! Ah! If you're not a major power and you're fighting a major power, it is almost impossible to get anything done. I know, I know, it's realistic, but come on. Come on, give something to counter this absurd air power. AA has become virtually useless. Well, in retaliation, I sunk two enemy battle cruisers. At least that's something. If nothing else, at least our navy is doing well. Started a little offensive into Romania, uh, just avoiding the major river here from this province, from Banat, and it's actually reasonably successful. If we can knock out Romania, that is a lot of equipment we'll take from them, which is great. And it does cut off Bulgaria even more. Oh, sweet Jesus, we might actually do it. Need to finagle the railways a little bit, building a little slice of railway here to plug into the rest of the uh, network. But it is looking favorable. When Romania falls, I'm going to go either for a two-front attack by asking the Yugoslavs for a slice of land north of Bulgaria. And if that works, I'll go for a two-pronged attack. If that doesn't work, I'll see if I can counterattack right after one of these attacks while they still have low org and just pop my ciphers, pop all of these stratagems, at least the Bulgarian and German ones, and just go for one big push to knock out Bulgaria. Yeah, I pull my troops away to counter a naval invasion and just look at uh, Yugoslavia melting. God, I'm so happy that counterattack worked. Turkey redeployed its troops elsewhere. Like, just gave us a window to strike out the weakened Romanian troops. We were able to push through to Bucharest. Beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. As long as Yugoslavia does not join the war, though. That's my main concern right now. And now with this, I have an idea. I'll, I'll just leave the uh, Yugoslavs to clean up that last pocket. I'm going to redeploy this entire army to this province, Dobruja. They don't have a claim, so I'm going to ask for Dobruja from Yugoslavia. It's going to flip to me, and then I'm going to launch a two-pronged attack in the south to pin these divisions into place and in the north to smash through here and rush to victory points. All right, Yugoslavia, as control of state. Dobruja, where are you? Yes, we are now in control of the state. Attack, attack, attack. Put all of the air up. Make this count. And we're going to break the German cipher and the Bulgarian cipher. And we're going to pop anti-German and anti-Bulgarian stratagems. And this is going to be it. This is going to make or break our run. This assault. So far, so good. This South, not so much, but this is more a distraction than anything. Come on, keep the pressure up. Keep the pressure up. Gotta keep Bulgaria on the back foot. How is Bulgaria looking? If we could just capitulate Bulgaria, though. Ah, we just need 17% more of victory points. If I can get the Sofia, it's over. Oh, Sofia looks to be wide open. If I could just punch through. Oh. Yes! Bulgaria has fallen. The Green Army goes south. Man, the Turkish border. We will prepare for a big strike against Turkey. Got a lot of factories because I have a big collaboration government going on in Bulgaria. Okay, after that breakthrough, I needed to take a moment to breathe. It's going well. I'm going to consider this a win. If we can hold on to what we've got on in Europe, and if I can take Anatolia. If I can click this button, revive Byzantium, 
I think I can call this a win. Oh, this entire Bulgarian mess is cleaned up. We've destroyed so many Germans here. We've killed a million Germans in Bulgaria. That's more than we killed Bulgarians, actually. It has come at a price, 700,000 losses almost. But we still have some manpower left for mobilizing a little bit more. And if I can just get a good push going into Anatolia, maybe, who knows? We can actually make something happen. Oh, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Germans naval invaded me and then promptly starved. Okay. Oh, I'm pushing them back to Istanbul. They're surrounded in here. It's just a... Oh, yes! Now if I can push across the strait. Why can I push across the strait? There we go. Okay, we're gonna get across the state. Come on. Woo! We are gonna do it. Now, I, I will need a couple of Coast Guard divisions because I've got a port here and a port there. I don't want to lose those, so six divisions will have to do. I'm, I'm running low on some equipment. Mostly running low on anti-air, actually. The rest is pretty good, so maybe I should just increase anti-air production and cut back on the rest. Also, let's not forget to keep the railways being built up behind us. And yes, I know I have free military factories, quite a few actually i just don't have the resources i don't have the steel to keep building things so i have just cut back on using some of my factories oh it feels good to get this done we're breaking through yeah we'll, we'll get turkey this time building up the railway behind me so i don't run out of supply occupy territories local police force yeah that's fine could go up to forced labor but i don't want to use the extra garrisons i, I don't have that much manpower i will replace this guy the fascist support with the prince of terror that's gonna be better for our garrisons and then also redesign our template. This is my garrison template. And we'll make military police out of them. Okay, that will help. You never thought we'd be back here, Turkey, did ya? Also, for anyone wondering what the world looks like at this point, I think pretty much everyone's at war except for South America. So we've got the American faction fighting the Central Powers. We've got the Asian faction fighting the Central Powers and the Confederate European nations, so the UK. And then we've got the UK fighting the Asian League, so us and the North American Association. Oh, and... And I've just discovered that the fourth international still exists here in what's left of the Supreme Soviet. They just left the USSR, these two provinces, as well as for some reason, Lithuania. Got him! Turkey has capitulated. Now this does give us another massive border though. Napoleon Zivra. Okay, Napoleon, uh, I'm gonna need you to cover the flank here, the mountains, and half will have to cover the desert. I'll reinforce you later on though, don't worry about it. Uh, the other guy, here needs to clean up what is left these these german holdouts i did not go through the trouble of capturing turkey just for you to lose it again you need seven fresh divisions okay i'll train seven fresh divisions oh i just realized i can turn off construction engineering because with her kick capitulated i can start taking focuses again i can take neni kikamen okay more recruitable pop more stability more war support and at least to the die is cast a research slot and i can then restore the byzantine empire all right i've got most of the area secured there's just these stupid islands here. I'll redirect Green Army to the Caucasus front. Expect a lot of pressure to be coming from there. I'll just leave uh, a bit of a token garrison behind. Four divisions should be fine. I've used my fallback lines for Greece because I know this is very important and I used the garrison order for the other ports with the result that they only guard the ports, not the tile next to it. The AI now lands troops next to it and it, it messes with your supply lines big time. But as long as they don't take a port we should still be fine. They will eventually run out of Theme. Oh, I just said that, and they've taken Thessaloniki. This is a major, major, major problem. I need this. I need this base. This campaign is dead if I don't retake this instantly. Yeah, the AI is just pouring troops in. All right, maybe this counterattack will work. How many divisions did they get in here? Oh my! I'm just gonna leave that to run. Eventually, we'll win. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Never, ever, 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 ever let the AI do anything that. That's important. Ever. The UK has gone to war with Italy. Italy is in Germany's faction, so now the UK and Germany are also fighting each other. Okay, this has totally not been worth it, but just lasting long enough has given us opportunities. I might actually be able to form Byzantium if my sanity survives. Okay, I'm gonna try one more harebrained scheme before I give up and just say that this is as good as it's gonna get. I've created a couple of motorized divisions, uh, just 30 with, no, 27 with motorized infantry with uh, motorized artillery, and of course, 
support companies. I've created six of them. It's not a lot, but I'm going to rely on their speed. I'm going to try and hit the naval base at Batumi. This is the closest supply they, they have that's connected to the network. So I'm going to try and hit them there. Take as much of this supply hub as I can. Simultaneously, I'm going to launch a massive assault along this uh, front down here. If everything goes well, along with my submarines raiding the Black Sea, they should have no supply in the region. And maybe, just maybe, I can knock this front down or at least retake my cores. I would still need to take Crete, which is going to be virtually impossible considering the enemy naval strength. Launching my naval evasion, gonna try and hit the port there. Gonna assist them with all the casts I have left, which is not a lot. I should probably put more factories on cast, but where am I gonna get the rubber? If it works glorious, we might actually be able to form Byzantium. If it does not, well, it is what it is. Launch a counterattack. This is gonna be incredibly costly in terms of men and material. Taking the hub here. Start expanding. Oh, so far so good. Keep attacking. Oh, and it is working. It is working. We're pushing here and there. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Oh, we've broken through. We have broken through. Oh, this is so stupid, but if we can pull this off, please Please, please, please give me something. I've been here for far too long. I've worked far too hard. Give give me this victory. Oh god, I did it. I did it. I did it. Um, I've cut through the line here. All the motorized is gonna be assigned to the north, and all of the infantry is gonna be assigned to the south. This is the most glorious moment of my Hoi 4 career. <laughs> I wonder how many Germans this is. Oh, this has to be so many Germans. Oh, with these two giants fighting each other, they're distracted each other and that gives us an opportunity oh this feels so good this has to be painful for germany the pride of the german army stuck and slowly being destroyed as they starve oh this is stalingrad all over spartans never die you know where we started you see where we are now this is what perseverance get you just completely set your sanity aside and keep at it keep grinding and this is what insanity will get you in the end victory or as close to victory as you can get Oh, yes. God, this is great. Speaking of victory, it looks like my submarines have found the Royal Navy and completely trashed it. Oh my god, look at that. I lost four subs, which is sad, but I sank seven light cruisers, 85 destroyers, four carriers, a battleship, two heavy cruisers, and a convoy. Oh god. Now to just collapse this and we're done. Yes, we completely cleaned that up. Oh my god. Okay, this army, cover that. And I'm gonna use the trucks, I guess, to try a naval invasion of, of Crete. Assuming we can get naval superiority. It should be easier to get naval superiority soon if I can keep sinking the Royal Navy like that. No, I think I might actually be able to yeah, launch more attacks. I don't think anyone thought we stood any chance at all at the start of this video. Here we are. We just need to retake Crete and we're a real country again. All right, let's try this naval invasion. We've sunk a lot of the Royal Navy. I'm going to wait for this naval battle to be over. I've got my air up. Have we got 35% naval supremacy? I could check out the surface fleet. This is really not a good fleet, but maybe, just maybe, it might be enough to just tip the balance. Fall back behind the river, closer to our own supply hubs. That way we can just hold and grind the Germans. Alright, I'm gonna send out naval invasion support. Uh, that gives us, oh my god, yes, 57% supremacy. Launch the naval invasion. Oh, I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope this works. Air force is up as well. I'm gonna switch them from naval strike to logistics and and close air support. Actually, I just need the close air support. And please, please, please take Crete. I don't really. Crete's not even defended. Well, okay then. We've taken Crete. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Revive Byzantium. Click the button. Oh, done it. Rise of the Byzantine Empire. We've done it. It's 1946. I've been here for four years taking the worst Greece I've ever been handed. And I've done it. We can actually win this campaign, but I, I cannot take any more Hearts of Iron 4. This is where I'm going to end this one. I'm going to declare this one saved. It's done. I know you guys want to see peace deals, but I cannot bring myself to keep playing anymore. It's been far too long already. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more insanity like this. Check out one of these other videos that probably did not drive me quite as mad as this one. Peace.